Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how an ordinary adenium plant is prepared and trained to grow for radial roots. This is an ordinary adenium plant of 3 months. Now I am uprooting this plant from the seedling pot. I am losing the soil. This is tap root and I am going to cut this tap root. This is a sharp knife. Before cutting, I have to sterilize it. And I am sterilizing the knife with hydrogen peroxide. This is hydrogen peroxide solution and I am sterilizing the knife with hydrogen peroxide solution. Let's see how I am cutting the tap root of this adenium. Adenium sap is toxic, so we must wipe out it. We should not allow adenium sap to touch our skin. It may cause irritation. This is fungicide. And I am applying fungicide to the cut area. Now I am making a circular path for radial roots to grow. You see how I am doing it. Remove the shaft. Again, I am applying fungicide to the cart area. I am trimming the leaves because this adenium seedling will be left hanging in shed for 3 to 5 days and it will have been going through fasting for the period. Now I am going to leave this plant hanging in shade for 3 to 5 days. And after 3 to 5 days, I will be back with this adenium plant to repot it.
and after five days the adenine implant looks like this this is the first training pot this is a shallow pot this is the nano net I place the nano net at the bottom of the pot covering the holes of the pot now I am filling the pot with potting mix and this potting mix is prepared with one part garden soil, one part coarse sand and one part cocoa pit. This is a DVD disc. I place the DVD disc on the top of the soil. This is a plastic plate. And I covered the whole of the discs with the plastic plate. Now the adenine plant is placed on the top of the plastic plate. just like this this plastic plate prevents the adenium to grow vertical roots The plant needs to stand firmly on the DVD disc. Let's see how I am fixing the plant with the pot. Just tie the plant like this. The plant is standing firmly. Now the remaining portion of the pot is filled with potting mix, leaving an inch empty. Now we'll apply water and leave this plant in shade for three to four days.
So friends, if you like this video, subscribe my channel and push the bell button.